I'm sure you've all heard of the recent death of the terrorist Hossein Soleimani, the leader of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, Quds Force. He was killed in a recent U.S. airstrike. And you've probably also heard about the left's hysteria about how we are headed towards World War III. We've had Hollywood stars apologize to Iran and say that U.S. citizens are living under a terror regime. Now, some have stood against what Trump has done in the Middle East and how he has sought to protect the U.S. and U.S. military. But what I think is worse is the blatant hate for America. I think the heinous comments need to be exposed. The controversial football player Colin Kaepernick tweeted out, There is nothing new about American terrorist attacks against black and brown people for the expansion of American imperialism. And America has always sanctioned and besieged black and brown bodies, both at home and abroad. American militarism is the weapon wielded by American imperialism to enforce its policing and plundering of the non-white world. Does he not realize that Soleimani was considered the second most powerful leader in Iran, a country that is among the largest state sponsors of terrorism in the world? In fact, President Trump himself explained Soleimani's history and terrorist activities at a recent press conference. As the head of the Quds Force, Soleimani was personally responsible for some of the absolutely worst atrocities. He trained terrorist armies, including Hezbollah, launching terrorist strikes against civilian targets. He fueled bloody civil wars all across the region. He viciously wounded and murdered thousands of U.S. troops, including the planting of roadside bombs that maim and dismember their victims. Soleimani directed the recent attacks on U.S. personnel in Iraq that badly wounded four service members and killed one American, and he orchestrated the violent assault on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. Also, does Colin Kaepernick not know that his African-American brothers and sisters are among those who fight to preserve American security in the face of terrorists like Hossein Soleimani? Colin Kaepernick was paid millions during his NFL career, but he achieved true notoriety by taking a knee for the national anthem in protest of police treatment of minorities. He was given a spot at Nike, and his key phrase became, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. And he lost the chance to come back to the NFL after he had a tantrum about how he couldn't bring his own film crew to a workout. Sounds like he took his own advice and foolishly lost out. The other NFL player who came out with a controversial social media message was Albert Hainsworth. He posted on Instagram an aerial photo of the White House and wrote, At Iran, if you're going to attack the United States, well, here's a picture for you. Hashtag just trying to help us folks who aren't starting wars. This was after Trump said he had 52 Iranian sites that could be hit if Americans and American assets were attacked. But this guy has a history of violence. He was responsible for stomping on a rival football player's head, and the player had to get 30 stitches. Sounds like a guy who doesn't want a war, doesn't he? The last person who should be highlighted is the comedian George Lopez. At the funeral of Hossein Soleimani, an $80 million bounty for Trump's head was discussed. And on Instagram, Lopez said, we'll do it for half. The left has tried to spin Soleimani's death and has focused on how many people mourn for him without showing how many people actually rejoiced over his death and even baked cakes for President Trump and danced in the streets. Figures like Democratic presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren could barely get to the point of admitting that Soleimani is a terrorist. He's part of a group that has but been is he designated. A terrorist? He is part of a group that's been designated. So he's not a terrorist. Because of course he is. He's okay. part of a group that our federal government has designated as a terrorist. The question, though, is what's the right response? And she doesn't think his death makes America safer. In fact, she would not make a commitment to killing top terrorists if she was president. Yikes. I'm Abigail Hammond for Rebel News. Like and subscribe to never miss a video.